Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today I wanted to answer a comment that I received the other day about blade speed. I'll put the comment up here somewhere, probably like right there, so you guys can read it. Alright, from Charles B we have, I assume the LT40 has a system to adjust the feed rate speed? Question mark. If so, what guideline do you go by to set the travel speed depending on the tree species and diameter etc this is a very good question and i'm going to make an entire video on it so let's get into this video I already have my log rolled up here. There's quite a taper in it, so we have the front roller up. With hemlock, what you have to keep in mind is that the knots are really hard. So while the wood might be soft, as soon as you hit a knot, there might be a little bit of walking with your blade. So you can't go really fast with hemlock, whereas you can with something like bass. Like I said, um, what was it, Monday? I said that in a video before. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut into this log and I'm going to try my best to explain to you the method that I use to determine my uh, feed rate speed. So this here is your dial that controls your speed and you can basically slow down or speed up while you're actually actively cutting anytime and it, so it's completely manual at what speed you go and I think that it, um, not a lot of people got that from some of my previous videos, but it's not something that you set and let be. It's completely manual um, what speed you go. So for hemlock, you can go a little bit faster. Any hardwoods, you're going to slow down. As far as chatter marks, I have talked about different chatter marks, meaning that you might have a tooth missing on your blade. Um, I have received comments also saying, no, that means that you're going too slow. Actually, it doesn't. There are two different kinds of chatter marks, and you can definitely tell the difference if you know what you're looking for. Chatter marks where your t uh, one tooth is missing they're going to be a little bit wider, whereas chatter marks, when you're going slow, they're going to be really close together. Um, I'd have to show you for you to fully understand that picture unless you've um, had experience with it. But yeah, you want to avoid going too slow because it is visible on your lumber if you are going too slow. And that can be a very clear indication that you need to speed up. But sometimes it's not always that simple. When I've cut into hardwood logs before, I could tell that the machine was struggling and it couldn't go any faster, but you still got those slow chatter, chatter marks. So in the end, it's not really a matter of just going slower or faster. There's a lot of stuff that comes into play. Blades, if you're cutting hardwood, you might need to change um, to a different degree of blade. So there's a lot that goes into it more than just simple speed. But today, that's what we're talking about, so that's what we'll stick with. So let's turn this machine on and make our first cut. And I'll play this in real speed so you can actually see how fast I'm going. This is a 10 foot log, so just bear that in mind.
the best advice that I can possibly give you for what speed you should go, and this doesn't matter whether your log is big, what species it is, is just to purely listen to your machine. It will tell you what speed it likes, and you need to know what to really listen to as well. There's three sounds. <laughs> well, that's a little too simplified, but three sounds that I know tell me certain things. The speed that tells me that the machine would like to work harder, which means it wants to go faster. Um, the, the sound that basically says too fast, too fast, your machine's screaming out for help, slow down. And then just right in between those two sounds, there's just like this tiny, tiny window where the machine is working hard, it's putting in its hours, but it's not over stressing itself. And that's the speed that you want to go. And I can't get the camera to pick up those different sounds, unfortunately. That's something that you guys will just have to hear for yourselves. I hope that this helped a little bit to know which speed you should go. It really just depends. I feel like I say that a lot. It really just depends, but it really does. Um, and the best thing I can tell you is to do it yourself and see what works best for you. It's not too late to support our Vets for Veterans Day. Order one of these t-shirts today and we will donate $5 to helping support our vets who keep us free and safe. So a shout out to all the veterans out there. I know a lot of them watch my channel. So thank you. And what else? Oh yes, um, follow us on Instagram at Lumber Capital Log Yard to keep up with all the fun new jazz that's going on. And remember to like and subscribe if you liked this video. But other than that, I guess I'll see you guys next time.